Welcome everybody, welcome to the Sporty stream, nice to see you all, my name is Sporty FC. And we've got um, a good match tonight, we've got a best of seven, we've got Ignition Academy, for the first time on the stream actually we're going to see Ignition Academy, we haven't seen them on the stream in a very long time. we will be taking on Invicta <clears throat> Empire here in the Skyward Series. Wildcard week one, we haven't actually seen a wildcard match yet for this league. They will mark a bit of a first, which I'm always happy with that. And we are just looking to kind of get things sorted out here as, again, it's two new teams on different sides of the bracket. At the end of the season, Invicta ended up with a record of 6-2, and two, being the 7th seed overall, and that means they are the 3rd seed in the wild card. Ignition Academy ended up as the 8th team seed, meaning that they are now the uh, 14th seed overall in that bracket out of 16 teams total. So these two teams are on very opposite sides of the bracket. It is not an easy road here for Ignition Academy. Reminder, this is only week one. There's two, you have to win two weeks in a row to make it. Whoever wins this will have to play the winner of uh, uh, Milky Militia Hitman and Astral Supernova. So again, it, it doesn't get any easier. It gets tougher with the prospect of Milky Militia uh, being on the other side. In this bracket, it's it's simple. It's, you gotta win twice. It's single elimination. You lose, your season is over. No questions. Just have to win, and that's that's not an easy thing for teams as well, especially teams who have done really well in the season, like Invicta. Again, six and two record is a very good record, but one loss, and all that work is done. It's gone for. They uh, they have to prove it that that they uh, play when it matters, when it when they gotta be clutch. An easy thing to do. But I'm sure for Invicta, this first round might be a bit of a blessing for them because they get they, they the play Knish Academy who now they've seen was a record of four and four and really could not get a win. A lot of their wins came from forfeits, so Yeah, for Ignition, they themselves have a lot to fight for and that they can play when the playoffs are here, when the lights are on. But we'll see about that. As again, 1 4 record of those four wins for Ignition Academy, who uh, all of them were forfeit wins. Yeah, again, they've actually, in fact, six of the matches they had played were forfeit in some way or another. So, yeah, they've had a really strange season for Ignition. Again, and, and part of that is the fact they did actually, they went on the last team to join for the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, All Star Series, not the Academy Series, the All Star Series, coming in actually during week two of the regular season and replacing a team that actually had forfeited out of the season. So unfortunately, again, those first two losses they had were forfeit losses, but they were able to play the final six weeks. Again, four of them were forfeit wins, two of them were losses. Both of those losses to uh, coming against Dark X, where they lost 3 1, and New Age Pirates, where they got swept. Dark X actually just lost in the playoffs to New Age Panther. And so, it's going to be tough. Whoever the number one seed of the wildcard is, it's looking pretty good. That's Ignition. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. For the fun little joke. Yeah, that's the Ignition main team. They won't be meeting each other, which might be a good thing for Ignition Academy. I don't know if they'd have a very good chance against Team Ignition here. Yeah, again, Team Ignition. Uh, they got a lot of the prove here in this best of seven. We're going to all matches in the playoffs are best of seven, so. I'm going to see just how well they can do here, if they can even keep up with Invicta. I think that's the first question, is, is can they keep up with Invicta Empire? Invicta Empire are the third seed in this, in this wild card. They have a very good chance of making it again. They're really, I think, thinking of that next round against Milky Militia Hitman, because... That's a really scary opponent to go against, is uh, Milky Militia. That is considered the sixth seed in this grouping, so yeah, they got a lot to prove in the playoffs. And just getting things sorted out. Get that prediction poll as well. Oh, thanks for Cody. Thanks for congratulating me on the sweep. Let's both make it through wildcard. That won't happen, Cody. <laughs> we are both on the same side of the bracket, my friend. One of us has to play each other, uh, but most likely, uh, uh, just considering that you probably won your match. Uh, did you win your match already, or do you have to still play it? Because uh, one of us would have to... Yeah, the, yeah, Cody, we're on the same side of the bracket. I don't I think... I don't, I, you should know this. You made that bracket. You would know that we're on the same side of the bracket, that we wouldn't be able to both make it through. We'd have to play each other if we were to continue winning. Again, we play Sunday. Ooh, you play Sunday. 
We have again. You have to play Baha Berserker. Well, good luck against Berserker. Um, again, in the very lucky chance you beat that team, we'd have to play each other next week again. We'd have to put do a rematch, which... Is that your one section below? No, we are in the same grouping as you are. Because we're middle of the bracket. We're middle of the group. We're one of the middle seeds, so we got to be put in your group. Uh, you and Berserker and uh, Dark X, so... We probably have to play... We, we will almost certainly be playing each other. Again, unless you guys lose to Berserker, which is unlikely. Um... Again, like, let me show you here. Let me find the bracket. Here you go. See, we're on the same side of the bracket here. Again, as you guys can see, Ignition Academy is on the same side of the bracket as Infixa Empire, Milky Mush Hitman, and Astral Supernova. As again, just waiting to see uh, when these teams get in again. They both do have a match lobby info. They should be here any moment uh, to get this series started. Reminder, it is a best of five, so... Gotta win four games to move on through, not free like you like you did in the regular season. You're hoping you'd get top four. Yeah, I can understand that, Cody. You guys were pretty close to getting top four. You literally ended up the season as the fifth seed, so you guys... I mean, you guys should theoretically make it through the back, even though we're probably going to play you. You guys are expected to make it through. Uh, not saying that you will, though. I don't. I don't. I don't see that happening. Um, I don't see that happening personally. I think. I think. Uh, I think my. I think my guys can get can win that really match, but we'll see about it. As we're gonna get into this series very soon again. Sorry about the delays. Mission Academy should be joining any moment. We're gonna give them up to 15 minutes past match start time. You join. As again, as soon as they're in, we're going to get the series started. We. Wouldn't be delayed too much here. This is the only match tonight, though, so no real pressure on uh, any rush here. But I, I do hope we have them join on time. Again, anything sort out again. We'll take a look at those lineups. I can only tell you who's in for actually for Invicta. They've already have the roster, and it's Goober, Stalton, Bestos, and Bergy. Uh, for Ignition Academy, I don't know who's actually playing. It's it seems like the standard starting roster is Defreak, Atomic, and Inny. We'll have to see about that. Again, I'm just checking on that match, see when they're in. It looks like actually they are in, and yeah, it is the Freak, Atomic, and Inny. As we're going to get these things going. Again, Ignition Academy just barely scraped on by getting into this situation. Now they got to play Invicta Empire. They never played in the regular season, from what I know. And these teams, well, they get to meet here in the wild card. Winner moves on to week two for a chance to qualify in the top eight. Loser is out. It's Invicta Empire on the blue, Team Ignition Academy on the orange. And this series is for elimination. Lose here, your season's over as it is off the kickoff. Well, that's a quick start for Ignition Academy in Victor Empire. Maybe we find something here as uh, Ignition's actually got two players. Atomic isn't joining. Now, they have scored, so we'll keep on playing here. But, um... Yeah, they only have two players in. I, I don't know what's happening with Atomic. As there we go, Atomic's joining. Now we'll have it going. They scored on a 2v3, and now they'll get scored on right back by Goovers. Oh, well, it didn't take too long for Injector to get one back. Atomic, he'll get a sweet time getting into the lobby. Now when he does, uh, he, he doesn't, he won't be in the right part of the net there. And Ignition Academy, be that high-flying side of theirs, was just a facade. Already, I, I will say, already better than what I expected from Ignition Academy. I thought Injector would come out quite heavily swinging on this match, but obviously it's worth seeing. 
They are doing that, but with the fact that it's tied, with the fact that Ignition Academy have a goal this early, they actually do well for their future. But yeah, they have, but yeah, for Ignition, they have not been able to beat a single team in a best of five or best of seven yet this season. They couldn't, all, again, all of their wins in the regular season were forfeits. A lot of people have said that they don't really deserve to be in this point. They have to prove they can. Atomic, gonna get a double tap. And Goobers will clear it away. Inny. Here's it to the corner. It's to Empire. Still pushing, but that offense of theirs is getting stopped by an Ignition Academy team that, uh, again, with the players that on this roster that I do know, again, they have that defense. They have a rock solid back line, and they are a, and, and they are fine with putting multiple players in the nets. I guess adversity that is generally what this team does. It doesn't work super well because it does mean you can get uh, a lot of shots in against you, but and so far they're holding up as now a few men passing away from Invicta, Goobers. I make it four, but Stolz and Pestos went back early and Invicta will have to switch again. It's a quick shot. Burgies kept it out. Goobers. Burgie. Gonna keep it away here, but getting challenged by Inny. Ignition Academy pestering Invicta Empire in this corner. They will continue to challenge as now Atomic has it. Ignition playing up to their opponents at this point, but still no lead. The Freak. Stop by Bergy. And still nothing working as Indy's got that one. Atomic. Look for the fake on Bergy, but he took way too long. Ignition Academy. Definitely not known for their speed. And now that play, trying to use it to help them, but it really didn't make it look good. It's now a shot from the Freak. Salt and Bestos blocks. It's going on target. Indy, he's missed it! He just whiffed it! A clear from Salt and Pestos. Ignition Academy were prepared, and yet Inny did not reach that one. Took his eye off the ball for just a split second. And Victor, well, they're going to be benefited from that. Now trying to make that one free, Inny. throws it away. Go uh, Goobers will bump him out as Bergy. We'll knock the touch by Selden Best as well. And now down the field goes Stella. Atomic will clear it out. And now Bergy, midfield, and Victor Empire. Just the quality of the plays that they're bringing, much stronger than what Inv Ignition Academy have done. Ignition aren't following up each other as well, aren't following up their own touches as well. A lot of the plays they're making are weak and are only used just to give themselves some time. You can really tell that they are uncomfortable at this point against, Ign against Invicta. Still some Pestas. Out by Atomic. Ignition Academy will have to watch this again. Another one, uh, as again, they, their clear attempts aren't working. But that's a good challenge from the Freak. Tell them Pestas will block. We've seen the Freak before on this stream, actually. In his 2 team matches on Prestige Worldwide. Has one a dunk. Has that gone in? Oh, it has from Stolz and Pestas. Oh, let you know. Stolz and Pestas spot for that one. Look at the boost. That was intentional from him to get right in the face of any. Elton Pestos has a very annoying play. As pitch across, still. Ignition still again. Got, got to give hope. Got to have hope in them if. They've been able to score once, now he's trying to make it two. Goobers will get in time. But fob shot from the Freak! That's gonna find the net. Goobers panicked, didn't make a very good save. And that will be the Freak's shot, the Freak's goal. And Ignition Academy keeping it close, keeping it competitive. Whereas Invicta maybe weren't expecting this. They're expecting maybe they're expecting ignition with and how weak they've been as a team to maybe kind of roll over here, but they have not as Atomic here has stopped moving. Unfortunately, we're too far in the game for us to make a pause here, but we we will be trying to see if we can fix those issues before game two as Inny. They're past Bergy. Now Goobers has missed. Inny one on one with Sultan Bestas. Light shot. Stella's got it off the crossbar. And Team Ignition Academy will have to go all the way back. Bergy, one on one with the Freak. High flick. Inny on no boost. Just trying to send it away. Goobers. Missing the target. Follow up shot. The Freak is still there to block it. And Ignition continue to have to play down a player. 
Ready to do that defense? It's still there. It's still strong and it's still keeping everything out for the time being. Is he knee there? Two crucial touches. Now can't get the dunk on Stelton Best. That's the freak. Caught up field. Sending it up and Goobers will have to just retreat to his own half here. Invicta Empire. We're looking to see if they can get that fourth goal. At the oh, but Ignition Academy now trying to put pressure on the freak though. Overcommit. Atomic has returned. We'll see if he make any change here in the final seconds. Any. Finds the freak. Maybe one more chance for Ignition. Atomic trying to take it down the field. Clear from Bergie. The freak. Infield. And he's got to get it clear. This one might as well hit the ground. Bergie hasn't done it there, though. Now trying to get past one. Any off the corner. Hoovers will send it away. And Atomic. Oh, he does keep it up. The defense staying strong. And Victor Empire will hit it to the ground. Game one will be theirs. As they were able to hold on, and again, hold on is exactly right. As again, we've actually sorted out the issues here with Atomic. We'll go right into game two. As Invicta... The series off 1-0. It was closer, though, than I think they even imagined it would be a one-goal difference. Yeah, and credit to Ignition. That defense is here and ready. You cannot underestimate what they can do. But that is game one against them. Ignition Academy have to prove that they can hold that lead for... I don't know what they did in game one. As Bergy dribble, 50 off the back wall, but Atomic will clear. Again, Evex Empire, they're just going to do the same thing over and over again. Maybe, uh, now had a couple demos, who knows? That's a good shot! That's off the bar, Sell it's Pestos. Couldn't get anything useful there. Now Goober's trying to save time, and he's missed. Goober's still on it. Clear from Atomic, good it goes. Straight to Bergy, and a good bump attempt on the Freak! That will find the bottom right corner! Goobers, good into the channels, and with no boost, chase the freak down. And Bergie will find the opening caused by that challenge. And Victor played it smart, played it fast. And they were able to take the chances when it came to them. As now, into the back wall. Bergie, find a way midfield for Goobers. Bergie. Pass the Goobers. Has that worked? Yes, it has. Off the back wall and in. Invicta Empire will double their lead to two. And look at the passing. Just so coordinated. So fast. Gave Ignition Academy no time to react and stop it. Inside the first minute, things wouldn't look weak for the team that had such a good start in game one. Any. Gonna find the pass to Atomic off the back wall. Atomic won't get the second touch, and it will be cleared by Goobers. Out on the corner, Goobers. Not in, and he's now bumped out. Nobody jumping early yet. There goes Atomic. Goobers will send it back. Any misses it. Goobers gonna score. One mistake, that's all they need. And Victor Empire. This is a little more like what they expected. And I'm sure this is a little more what people expected out of Invicta. Definitely much more control, domination on Ignition Academy. Taking advantage of every mistake. And putting in a pace, a presence that is unshakable. As Atomic. As a dribble, still and Pestas off the ceiling, looking for the second touch. That will go off the back wall. Goobers. Drop down, still no shot on that play. Ignition Academy just need to break out at this point. They've been on defense so often this game, it feels like they don't have any reason to go upfield. And they need to. They need to get themselves something going in this game. Because right now, they're just playing reactive to In Invicta as Atomic. Fake there by Sultan Pestas, but it will give time for any to challenge. As Atomic, keeping it close, any that won't go on target. Ignition Academy, their first taste of offense, and it will not result in a single shot for 
Right, and Victor the other way already. But making a double command. Goobers infield. Any. Get the clear out. You just see kind of the, the difference in quality that these teams have. In, in, in Victor uh, Empire is putting on strong plays. Plays that Ignition Academy do not comprehend. Because Ignition Academy just, they can't even get on offense for their own liking. As Goobers. Ooh, a bit of a team bump there, but Invicta Empire can still get rid of this one. Bergy. Trying to send that ball away. Any now. Off the sidewall. You get through Salas and Pestas, but that won't work. Is a shot there from Atomic. Was off that corner pinch. Freak on the other side. You're going to really see the, a lot of the Freak. He is probably a player that most people recognize on this team. He... And he's on the procedural wide 2v2 team with Cody. And that's a good save there. He's still in front. Again, you're going to see a lot of the freak. His mechanics, his quality is going to be something that Ignition Academy needs to rely on, especially in times of hardship like this game. Is any. Around one, but runs out of all his boost. Can only slow down Bergy. Here comes the freak. Still all Tempestas with the block. And Victor Empire haven't had to really worry too much about their defense. And not too many plays against them. Especially not too many that were threatening. Because that's a good shot. And he's blocked it. And Atomic will send it away. Victor Empire continue to hold control. His Goobers. Off the back wall. Finding Bergy. Infield for Goobers. Oh, he's missed it. That was open for him. Would have been four goals. And probably could have secured this game for this team. Not like three is... Hasn't done that for them. It feels like this game's always secured, even with them only having a three-goal lead. As, oh, that's own goal for Mini. That will probably secure it there. Four goals. We're now inside the final minutes, and... Well, just to make matters worse for Ignition Academy, Any Well, not keep that. That was not going in his net. He actually wouldn't... But if he didn't touch it, that was staying out. Still, he thought... He, 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 felt, he felt the need that he had to go for it. And instead of hitting it away from his net, he hit it directly into it. And Victor just playing it cool. As the freak to the back wall. Bergy. Midfield for Goobers. That's off the post. Bergy now. And Goobers. He just saved Bergy's shot. Goobers wanted the steal. Instead, he just stole away his team's chance of getting a five goal lead. As Ignition. But uh, defense has held well. Too much defense is their big issue now. They do not break out of their, uh, their half very easily. Just plays are just again not strong enough, not coordinated enough. It feels like they're chasing every single time here against Invicta. At the demo, Bergy. Freak will bump him out. And in the final seconds, doesn't matter if, it, if Ignition even get a goal here. This game is over. And this series now will go to 2 0 for Invicta. As uh, this one, a shutout. Invicta Empire running control of the game. Only letting in four shots compared to the 10 of their own. 61% field domination. So a lot of time Ignition Academy were on the offense. They didn't have that play uh, for very long. Maybe not even a couple seconds before uh, it was taken away from them. Only for Ignition Academy. This feels like this is a losing battle for them. At least at this point with their current play style. They've got to pull themselves together. They've got to get something new. Going for them. They haven't won this season in a, in a best of five or best of seven. When it uh, again, when it comes to actually playing in the full uh, matchup, this team has had its struggles, and uh, we're starting to see a lot of struggles still prevalent here against Invicta Empire. Because we are going to get ourselves into Game 3. In Victor Empire 4-0 in Game 2. They're pulling away with this one. As Ignition Academy will try their best to keep up. As Tom passes the Freak back to Atomic. Ubers will send it out. 
Already ignition doing a little better than what they did last game. A good chance on offense at 1v1 type play. Still some Pestas. Hit it wide. It's off the back wall. And Victor, there's number one. Bergie will put it in. Kept asking the questions. The important ones, that's for sure. And Team Ignition Academy could not respond with enough answers. Victor Empire already up 1 0. As off the back wall, Sultan Pestas. Any dunked by Goobers. Now Goobers puts it in, makes it to. With a big dunk in the midfield, Goobers will have free range to put in any type of shot he wants. Tonic is not covering that net. And that is a very open chance. There's 50 off the side wall. Bergy. One out on two. Getting the flick. Trying to go for that back post. It does go wide. The freak jumped for it, but like knew pretty early on that that was not on target. Now we go down the field. Pass on to Atomic. Goobers was into the side wall. And now it's Bergy's chance to jump for it. Any trying to cover him. Good block from Any. Early jump. Pre jumping what he thought was going to be a high level play, and he was able to get up to the end of the air fast enough for it. In fact, I still have offense, though, and they're continuing to get chances. The Freak just wants it gone. Redirect. Off the back wall from Goobers. Atomic now. Any demoed by Bergy. Goobers. Gonna find Salton Pestas, but he continues to get shut down. It's Bergy. Interesting attempt of a foot reset there, I think. Is any. Midfield. Bergy will clear. Off the sidewall, Goobers. That should be three. It will be. And again, utilizing that back wall is Invicta. As they continue to press further, stronger, and, and continue to prod that defense for its weak points. And quite honestly, it's not looking good for Ignition Academy. It seems like every single game is getting more and more away from them. As Stellas and Pestas to Goobers off the back wall. Stellas and Pestas off the post and in. Not even halfway through. We've already got four goals. And boy, this is going to be an interesting matchup if Ignition Academy do not get goals. They didn't score in game two. And it seems like in game three, they may have the same thing happen to them. We're not even halfway through. And still, they of themselves have only been able to get a single solitary shot. There's Invicta Empire. Our four for five. Whereas game one was a bit of a struggle for Invicta. Game three, it looks like it's going to be an exact uh, opposite of that. It looks like it could be a blowout. As Bergy. Get the dunk on the Freak. Any off the back wall, but Salton Bestos will clear. Bergy will take it. The Freak will send it wide. Bergy. They jump to it, and Invicta Empire will continue to challenge as any. Built and past us. Looking in front. The Freak's got the block on Goobers. And now he'll get past Bergy too. Rolls to the back wall. Bergy again with a big clear. And Victor Empire. Just smart. Consistent Rocket League. Jump from Goobers. Built and past us. Pre-jumped it. Didn't, get, didn't like what they saw. And instead, and Victor Empire are going to go back all the way to the midfield. Reset their game plan. And that does one or two things for them. One, obviously, again, it resets that, that offense for them. They can find new plays. And two, it keeps them, it keeps ball possession instead of clearing the ball upfield. Instead, they're going to keep hold of it. Forcing for Ignition Academy, you have to continue to try to challenge. But challenge they will. The Freak, open backfield, maybe a chance in front. Really jumped from, in, uh, from Goobers, allowing Victor Empire to get that ball away. Another big challenge. Stella Tempestas. We'll look to who chase after is any up the side wall. Goobers. Ignition Academy again. Have to be forced to wait here and watch these plays. 
There's Boogie off the back wall. Second touch. That falls through. Now we've made it five. Invicta. Empire. I mean, we've, we, know, we knew they were probably going to continue that kind of level of domination after game two, but they've now won up themselves. Here in game three. A, a, a simple double tap will break through and tells him past us. Wants another play. Looking for the dunk on the freak. It is sent out. As off the side wall. Stella Tempestas. As I, as I did see a lot of you in chat, ask, talk about how uh, this is how this isn't the ignition you guys know. This is Ignition Academy. There are two ignition teams in the All Star. There is Ign Team Ignition and Team Ignition Academy. Their academy team is the one who is currently four and four. Their uh, ig their ign uh, Team Ignition team. I know it's a little confusing when I say it like that. But the roster with Cody on it. Ended off their season, I believe it was seven, uh, six and one. Four. But again, for Ignition Academy, this team, though, has struggled all season long. And, well, against Invicta Empire, one of the toughest matchups in the first round. We're seeing that that kind of struggle may continue. Seven and one. Thank you, Cody. Yeah, I was trying to get one more goal here. In front, Cooper's will block. Is that Cody not correcting me? No, Team Ignition, seven and one. Ignition Academy ended off their season four and four. And unfortunately for Ignition Academy, they might get swept here. And it looks like they might, they very well will get swept, swept here because we're going in the game four. And with them having not scored it ever, scored ever since the uh, middle of game one. Ignition Academy now have to be forced to make a reverse sweep. That's only happened once on the stream before. Ironically, it actually happened against the Team Ignition team that had Cody on it. Last season. Being the only team that was ever swept in a best of seven. Nation Tra uh, Academy. We'll have to do what, uh, again, was last performed by... Actually, I think it was also performed by an Invicta Empire. Was it also... Was it in Wait, was it performed by Invicta Empire? I think it was Invicta Empire who did it, didn't they? I was going to say, it's Invicta Empire who were first swept Team Ignition last season. So now, to Invicta Empire, trying to see if they don't get on history again for the wrong reasons. It's the exact same roster, by the way, as well. It's the same... It's it's almost the exact same roster as well. Berg, I think, is the only addition. Again, how weird it is to be in a situation like this. Uh, again, no time here for Ignition Academy. The series is not over yet. But Invicta Empire would like to prove them that it will be. With this perform with this performance again. The team that was able to get a reverse sweep last season. Now trying to prevent that this season. Again, the only two players who have remained on In In Invicta Empire from last season this season were uh, Goobers and Stella Tempestas. I believe Bergy and their sub logic are new players, so an interesting situation to be in as We'll see exactly how they fare as Bergy. The sidewall cleared away. Innie. Bergy off the corner. Second touch. Trying to keep the ball close. Invicta Empire. No goals yet. As Ignition Academy continue to bomb that ball away. Just looking to get clears. Sells on Pestos now. Again, mostly just trying to see if they can get the ball field and really put the pressure on Ignition. But Ignition... Have not broken all that uh, all that much under it. A lot of the space being given by Invict Empire. Now miss on the back wall. Any jumping through. Follow-up shot coming from Atomic. That's gonna hit the post. Ignition Academy almost ended their goal drought there. But almost is not good enough. And we go back. Again, the pressure definitely could be getting to these teams. You got a lot of uh, match. You got a lot to, you know, have to match up these other teams with. As Invicta, Empire, and still the heavy, heavy favorites in this one for obvious reasons. As, oh, Atomic's just left here. Did he disconnect? I think Atomic may have just disconnected. Makes things only tougher as Bergy double tap. That's off the post. Couldn't get the tight angle as 
Atomic. And now he's back. He had a short disconnect there. He is back in the lobby. We'll continue on in game four. Lucky enough for Atomic. That a disconnect didn't result in anything against this team. Well, they do have to play defense still. They can handle that as off the back wall. Goobers, that's going to find its way through. The Freak had a touch on it, but it wasn't enough to keep Invicta Empire out. Fergie off the back wall, infield for Goobers. Well, the Freak did well to get there in the first place. His touch cannot keep the ball out of the net. Invicta Empire now up 1-0 in Game 4, what could be the end of the series. Any. Yes, to Bergie off the corner goes Innie. Looking in field for Atomic. Goobers got the block. Will be sent away. Invict Empire. Playing more defensively this game than I have seen from them at really any point since game one. They do feel like they're a bit petrified, a bit scared of what Ignition Academy can do. And again, Ignition Academy doing well to put on that pressure. But they've got to make it work. So far, their chances have only missed the target. I've never actually gone on the target. As any. Now the sidewall. Now Bergy past Atomic. Backfield open. Trying to get the pass in front. Goobers bumps out of the way. Ignition Academy using some of the physical games to get that ball out of their half. We still see a disconnect between these teams. It's still Tempestas. Challenged by Atomic. Bergy now. Atomic again involved. As Inny. Here by Stella Tempestas. As Team Ignition Academy Atomic. Flip reset. Won't get it. Victor Empire didn't do well to clear that one. And here comes Inny. Maybe a chance to find a shot. He was looking for Atomic instead. That pass will never connect. It was just too powerful. And now inside the final minute. Victor Empire lead by one. They only need this one goal to win this game. They are looking for a second. That's gone across the net. But no one will get on the end of it. And now, down the field goes Atomic. Saved by Stalos and Pestas. Now midfield. Any to the back wall. This one is a bit scary, but it does get away from the half. And now, this game, you got to go back again. Goobers. Bergie won't have it. Stalos and Pestas. Up for Goobers, just trying to keep the ball here in their possession. But eventually, Ignition will challenge. Bergy up the sidewall. Well, Tempestas trying to get the clear. Bergy. Two touches. Inny jumping through. And they're still searching. Inny. Free shot on. Goobers gets the block. Well, Tempestas will prevent the follow up. In the final seconds, Ignition Academy will not be able to keep their season alive. A zero second goal to end it. Goobers and Invicta Empire have knocked out Team Ignition Academy from the playoffs. A 4-0 sweep. Invicta Empire shut them out in the last three games. They couldn't do it in game one. Game one was close. Every game since then, Invicta Empire were the clear better team. And that is exactly what the seeding was suggesting there. Only one team was going to win, and that team was certainly not going to be in Ignition Academy. Victor Empire takes this one in a 4-0. A sweep. A great start to their action again. If we take a look kind of at uh, the bracket here. Again, they're going to be playing against the winner of M.M. Hitman, Hestral Supernova. As I think we're gonna get Invicta Empire in here. I think I think they've said they've wanted interviews before, so we'll get them involved in it again. While it's happening again, they that winner of that match. As yeah, we're gonna get them here again. Invicta Empire, a sweep, a perfect start. We've seen a lot of sweeps in this first round. I mean, there's been a lot of mismatches, but been a lot of them. I mean, you had Fear One Gaming sweep Mol uh, Mol uh, Molenlabe. We had a uh, sweep, uh, sweep Dark X. What I can see, a good amount of matches like that. As again, will be in Victor Empire as most expected. As 
As joining here with me is Goobers. Welcome in, Goobers. Congratulations on your win. A sweep over Team Ignition Academy. You are now into week two of the wild card. Kind of getting into the playoffs, having those playoff jitters. How do you feel now that you've been able to get your first win? It, it feels very nice. Uh, me and Stella actually played 2v2 last night against uh, the, the same captain. And so uh, it was somewhat familiar, but just a completely different game, you know. But I definitely think we've got out our jitters. That that's a good team we played tonight. Yeah, and again, it was you know, again it was it was interesting because yeah, they played very well. Game one, you guys weren't ready, and they were, and they almost stole that game away from you guys. What are, what did you guys kind of do in that game one to kind of make sure you kind of after game one to kind of get yourself into into you know a serious position where you would not let up any more goals that the best for the uh, next three games? It was uh, I mean it, again it was a close game one. What did you guys kind of do to kind of prepare for game two? Um, I, I think we were just nervous for Atomic <laughs> in game one, but we were, but we just always feel bad when there's a disconnect. I mean, last season, you know, whenever but we were playing Ignition Academy, just, you know, different roster, but still like I, I was up at 999 ping. And I mean, we, we just know what it's like to play with DCs and uh, we were just hoping Atomic was okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I think we just couldn't even get our foot on the gas yet because we were just worried. So definitely game two, we thought, you know, foot on the gas, let's get going, let's speed it up a bit, close the rotations down, and I think it worked out pretty well for us. Yeah, and then again, for the rest of that series, you guys made it a goal to not let us sink any more into the back of your net, and you guys succeeded in that. Had that game one gone better, you might have actually become uh, history makers on the stream and being the first team to ever win. Uh, to ever win a best of seven on the stream without conceding a single goal. Unfortunately, we still have not found a team that has been able to do that yet. Uh, which, if we some, if, if there's a team that does it, that's, that would be monumental. But again, speaking of history, you guys were the first and are still currently the only ever team to win on a reverse sweep in a best of seven on the stream. And it was against Team Ignition last season, now playing against their academy team this season, being faced in a situation where it could happen to you after that game three. Was was that ever on your minds, the fact that you could get overswept having had, had done it only just one season prior? Uh, it was definitely on our minds. I think after game three, we were we were kind of like uh, it felt like we were playing it a little bit easier for a second. But we're just like in our own heads. We were chatting about whatever, and we weren't as dialed in. And then uh, one of us just said, uh, "But what if we get reverse swept?" And all of us instantly just, "No, no, 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 no! <laughs> Please, no! <laughs> Not like this, you know." So. But uh, it was definitely in the back of our heads, but I, I think we did a good job of locking it back in. Yeah, again, you guys having just, you know, just missed that top four. You guys were a top four contender until uh, flew the very until the very end of that season, where in the last week you lost to Swordfish Beep up in a game five, but could have potentially gotten you in that spot. Now in the wild card, having to fight for your lives. How, how have you guys been able to manage that transition from being a team that was in that top four to now being a team that is suddenly out of that top four and has to fight to actually get into that final bracket? Uh, it's definitely tough. I mean, uh, we thought we had that top spot, but maybe we just like the grind. I don't know. But here we are. We're going to do our best in the wild card. If we end up making the main draw, um, props to us. It, uh, there's so many good teams in this league, so... But we've definitely got our hands full for the next round. And even if maybe we had a little bit of a break and got to watch the wild cards, uh, maybe if anything, that'd be worse for us and we wouldn't feel as hot or as fresh, you know? So but we're, we're just taking whatever uh, cards were dealt and doing the best that we can. And I'd love to hear that again. Congratulations on your sweep here tonight against Team Ignition Academy. You guys acclimated to the pressure very well for most of that series again. And for most of that series, again, some parts were a little shaky, but even when you were shaky, you were still better. And you guys were able to take it, take down Team English Academy and, and knock them out of playoff contention. Now, of course, before you go, we always do this. We're going to have a quick shout-out segment. Goobers, is there any final messages you want to make? Any shout-outs you want to make here on the stream before we'll end it here for the night? I uh, just want to shout-out, first of all, Invicta Empire, my teammates. I mean, they're incredible. So much fun to play with. And uh, anytime we're logging on, it's just... It's fun, you know, in the end, this league is all about having fun, and these guys I'm playing with are really good at it, so props to them. And then I also just wanted to shout out uh, Team Ignition Academy this season, kind of like a whirlwind of a season, you know, coming in week three, and 
I, I know they're also doing their best. So just shout out to the freak atomic Sinus. I, they're wonderful people. They played hard and it was a pleasure to play against you in the wild cards here. And congratulations on your win, Coopers. Good luck next week in the wild card. Hopefully we'll get to see you again very soon. Of course. Thanks for having me, Sporty. Thanks for casting us. That was Goobers of Invicta Empire. Thank you all so much for joining. Again, that was the only match tonight. Thank you all so much. I'm Again, sorry it wasn't any longer, but it, that is, you know, just what happens here sometimes. Again, we're going to get ourselves to do some more action again. Thank you all so much for joining everybody an amazing rest of your night and i'll hopefully again see you very soon here for more action on the sportiest stream take care be well and again we'll be we'll see each other very soon